Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Edward. I'm Zane. And this is Wildcat TV. TV. Now please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance. And moment of silence. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. This Wednesday, Cheer had a UIL competition, so we asked a couple members of her team about their experience. So where'd you go for competition? We went to Fort Worth, Texas. Did you have fun? We had a lot of fun. It was definitely a learning experience, and it was a bonding experience, too. What place did you get? We placed in the top 25% of 120 teams. That's really good. Thank you. So, how did y'all do at competition? We did really good at competition. It's the best that I've seen our team do throughout all of our practices. Everybody put in 100% effort and it all came together in the end and we did really awesome. What's the normal routine? Well, the normal routine, we do three different parts. We do a chant and then we do a fight song and then we do our regular band dance. So, there was a lot. Why not start the 2017 with a little contest? Today we are doing a giveaway. If you can guess how many Jolly Ranchers are in a jar, you win a prize. Jar. It's 53. It's 48. It's 48. 56. She's in my hand. Uh, I'm guessing about three. Yeah, yeah. Like how many there is in there? Yeah. Jolly Ranchers. Maybe 166? The winner of Guess How Many is Zach Solis. Please come after school and receive your prize from K103. Wildcat TV sends a special birthday shout out to Mrs. Lovati. If you would like to request a shout out to Lovati, if you would like to request a shout out, you can just head down to room K103. Hey, good Friday morning, Angleton High School Home of Champions. What a beautiful day to be a Wildcat. Welcome back. Uh, I know that uh, not all of us were happy to be back, but I, for one, am happy to be back. Uh, it was a nice break, but I enjoy being here at Angleton High School uh, doing the things that I do. Hey, just a couple of things for me real fast and have some words of wisdom, and then I'll, uh, I'll get out of the way and let you continue on with your announcements. Uh, remember, uh, basketball season has started, so we look forward to seeing you guys come out and support the Wildcats and Lady Cats in the gym. And then soccer has started also, so as soon as those guys get some home games, we look forward to seeing you in the stands. Hey, remember I, earlier this week I mentioned that uh, Angleton High School has a Twitter page now. It's Angleton, capital A, Angleton, capital HS. Uh, look for us, and remember for every 100 uh, followers, the 100th follower of that group, I will buy you Sonic Lunch, so you can come on by and that. Right now, we're up to like 80-something, so I look forward to getting that 100, and then after that, we'll, we'll move on. Uh, the Twitter page is going to be used to post stuff about you guys, all right? I'm going to be floating through classrooms, taking pictures. The uh, assistant principals are going to help out with that. Some other folks, too, have access to the page and that uh, we're going to keep scores and things updated. And if there are any important announcements and things like that, we'll put that on the Twitter page as well. So, um, the words of wisdom. I've been thinking about the words of wisdom, and, uh, you know, I don't have any cool videos or nice graphics or anything to show you, but I do have this little thing that I want you to think about. A boat floats on the water. So it displaces water, and there's physics and all the stuff that goes along with that. But the boat floats along the water. 
the boat doesn't sink because of the water that's around it. The boat sinks because of the water that gets into it, right? So think about that for a second. The boat floats on top of the water, and it doesn't sink because of the water that's all around it. It sinks because of the water that's allowed into it. Now, the reason I tell you this, not because I want you all to take up boating or yachting or whatever, it's because we all float around in this world. And some of us float a little bit higher than others. Some of us float a little bit lower. And that's how it happens, okay? But we all float. But some of us sink. And we sink because of all the things around us that we let get into our boat. All right, stay with me on this one. So our boats don't sink naturally, okay? A boat is created to float. And so if you think of yourself as a boat, we're all created to float in this world and to be successful. But we're not successful because of the things that we let in to our boat. And here's some of the things that help that hurt us and not let us be successful. Negative thoughts. You know, things that you think turn into your words, and then they turn into your beliefs. So you have to be very careful about that. So negative thoughts and words get into your boat, and they start to sink it. Negative people get into your boat, and they start to sink it. You know what I'm talking about. People that are always in a bad mood, people that are always you know, out to get you, people that are always trying to hold you down. Uh, those folks who say they quote unquote love you, but they can't live without you, and so when you try to go do your own thing and be an individual, they pull you back and they hold you down. Negative people get in your boat. They sink it. Bad habits get into your boat and they sink it. I know right now, guys, you think that you are invincible, and I understand that. But drugs, alcohol, online addictions, things like that will get into your boat and they'll sink it and they'll keep you from being successful. One of the sad things about being an educator is that we see all of these folks that have such great potential and can do great things in the world, but they get hooked on drugs or alcohol or they get hung up on an online addiction or something, and the next thing you know, all that wonderful potential has been just gone, just poof wasted because they can't shake the grips of the drug and the alcohol addiction. And I don't want to see that. And sometimes it's not just the addiction itself. It's some of the things that you do when you're under the influence of that. And that choice has a consequence that sometimes you can't live, out, you can't live with or get out from under. And so that gets into your boat, and that sinks it. So I want you to think about this as you're floating along in your boat. We are all designed to be successful. We are. Oftentimes, we are the own hindrance for our success. We are the ones who cause ourselves not to be successful. So think about this. It's not the water outside the boat that sinks the boat. It's the water that we allow in the boat that sinks the boat. If uh, you want a better explanation, come see me and we'll talk about boats and floating. All right, guys, it's the weekend. You know what's coming up. Um, not only that, uh, Monday's the MLK holiday, so we don't have school. I forgot, it, I forgot to mention that. So, wow, that's an extra thing right there. So, you know, next week is a short week for us. Uh, for those of you who uh, do special thoughts and prayers and things like that, uh, keep uh, the choir in your thoughts and prayers. Those guys are going to be going to New York City for a few days. So, with all that being said, let's crank this up again. It's the weekend, so you know what's coming up. Uh, not everybody's doing it. It's okay to say no. And don't let what sounds good for 15 minutes ruin the next 15 years and, you know, sink your boat. Hey, take this opportunity to make yourselves in Angleton High School better because we're all Wildcats. That's all for this week, Wildcats. See you next time. Bye. Bye.